So one way to build gaze stability in the posterior canal is to bring your head back into that posterior canal position. Take your thumb, hold it up. So I'm holding at an arm's distance, but what I'm doing is holding my thumb here, looking at my thumb, and I'm taking my head back and forth. So I'm rotating my head, I'm doing this motion with my head back in this canal plane. Okay, and then I can do yes, yes. So I'm doing this motion with my head back in this canal plane. Okay, holding my thumb close, holding my thumb further away. Okay, if you wanna do the other side, that would look like head tipped back, rotating here, and yes, yes. So um, one way that I extrapolate this and think about why we wanna build this stability is, you know, think about if you're running, you're looking over your shoulder to try to catch a ball, or if that's a task that your patients do, um, you, you know, you wanna build gaze stabilization with your head in these positions. But, you know, how often do we have patients running, looking over their shoulder, maybe not as much, but even taking your head into any sort of extension or extension and rotation, we need gaze stabilization in all of these planes. So this is just a nice way to do it. You can start seated. You can work your patients into standing. You can have them standing feet in, in line, in line if that's too hard. Bring the feet off to the side a little bit to stagger their stance and then slowly build them up to more challenging positions. You can start to get them to do a walking too. That's pretty difficult and the risk of falling is higher, but start them seated, going back and doing your gaze stabilization work.